Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So I did uh, several tutorial on AMD GPU running Linux. So one thing I think uh, I got a lot from audience about uh, they really want to use a uh, web UI to do the stable diffusion. So, uh, so today I will do a tutorial on how to run one of the most uh, popular web UI for stable diffusion, which is shown on the screen. It is uh, automatic uh, stable diffusion web UI. So, uh, so, so you can do a quick check on their repo. So there are almost uh, seventy thousand stars. So that's a lot, and then in a short of time, short period of time. So let's uh, uh, get started on how to install Stable Diffusion Web UI. So because uh, as I mentioned previously, so AMD GPU uh, to release the full potential, you need to use the Linux. So today I will use the Linux. All right, so so this is a sneak peek of the final UI. What it look like? Uh, I will do some like more detailed uh, overview once we install that. So uh, let's uh, get started about uh, how to install it. So you will need to make sure that uh, you are on Linux. You also have the Rock M installed. So if you don't have those, please check my previous video. So I have those step-by-step uh, -step guide, so you should be able to follow. And uh, you will need to make sure that uh, you can run the Rocker M and uh, info. You make sure that uh, your AMD GPU can be detected. So those are all in my previous video. I will uh, put um, the link uh, in the description. As usual, you will need uh, to create a Python virtual environment using Conda. So uh, you can follow the script and then you can just uh, create them. So what you would like to do is to uh, install the PTorch, Torch Vision and the Torch Audio. So one thing need to be noted is that uh, so currently the latest uh, Torch version is 2.0. Unfortunately for AMD, there are some issue with Torch 2.0. So I would recommend uh, you still install the previous uh, stable version, which is uh, Torch 1.13.1. .1. So you can directly use this command line to do that. And then you press enter. So it will take some time to download the PTorch. So it's probably 1.5 gigabytes. Okay, I will skip it as I already installed that. All right, so next uh, we're going to do is to clone the automatic web UI repertory. So, so in this case, you will go to your working directory. And uh, you get a clone the repo. So uh, yeah. So so after that, and you go inside your directory. Go to the clone the repository, and then you you open it. So as you can see here. So it uh, has been cloned uh, to my local. And then I think uh, one thing is important uh, uh, is that uh, you have uh, your like uh, downloaded the model file and uh, copy it uh, to this directory. So this is uh, uh, needed. So for the stable diffusion, there's a subdirectory here. You, in, you put your uh, CKPD or safe tensor model files here. So if you don't provide it, so the uh, the the 
like script will automatically download a song of the classic model, like a like a stable diffusion base 1.5. So it will automatically do that. But if you already have the model file, you can skip that part. So that to make it easier. All right, all right. So so after that, you are able to start uh, the installation of all the dependency and uh, start uh, the web server. So that will like will be very easy. So the script uh, is uh, can be copied uh, here, and uh, then you press uh, enter, and it will show show some uh, information on the command line. So basically, they will install several in requirements. It will take us take several like uh, maybe like 20 30 minutes or even hours depends on your speed of internet but uh, the second time run it will be really really quick because it, for example this is my second time running it so as you can see it's very smooth and it just shows the information like the running on local url so let's go to the url and uh, do a quick test Yeah, all right. So, yeah, as you can see, I am able to open the URL. So it's a interface that uh, includes lots of features. There's lots of features <laughs> that I, I cannot uh, uh, like count how many. So feel free to give it a trial. There's a text to image, image to image. There are like extra, like, uh, like uh, you, you are able to do the scaling for individual images. You are able to check uh, the information for pre-generated uh, images. There are also like some training you can do, like uh, training the LoRa. There's a checkpoint module. I think there's a lots of wonderful things that uh, you can experiment with. So there's also something called a extension. It allows you to extend the features. All right. So let's uh, let's let's do some uh, examples. So so one thing I want to to try is uh, there's some thing called a PMG information. So it will able to give you the prompts used previously or by other people. So that way you can easily like uh, help you to start like working on it right yeah so for example i selected uh, an image and it were able to tell me the exact uh, prompts that was used so let's uh, send it to text to image and uh, in this case it included a laura but i didn't have that so i don't have that so i will delete it so because this is just for demonstration, so in your actual use, you can like uh, experiment and like modify those. I will do a random one. And uh, so, so in this case, I was able to click uh, generate. And let's uh, test drive like uh, how our AMD GPU is doing. Yeah, our terminal, there's a progress bar. Yeah, we do see that the speed is about uh, 3.5 iteration per second. So it, mm, yeah, I think that's uh, reasonable like speed because like a seven second you can able to get a, a high colored image and uh, if you remember my previous tutorial so for the, the exact same gpu same environment uh, if i use like uh, because in the previous video i used the diffuser package so it was able to do 
like uh, around uh, six uh, iteration per second. So I think uh, compared to the diffusers, the automatic web UI will be a little slower. But uh, I think uh, that may be because of there are like, like different uh, underlying packages, and also there's may like uh, one benefit of the web UI is it's easy to use. There's also include uh, so many functionality. I think uh, even the speed is a little bit slower. I think it still have huge advantage. So yeah, I, I personally highly recommend that you to use this web UI. So I think it should include many, many developers hard work. I think it's totally worth it to use it. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's try another one. Okay, now it's uh, completed. We see that uh, the speed uh, in the progress bar is uh, consistent with the previous one. It's around the uh, three points. Yeah, so, so here, I would like to do uh, uh, like increase the number of images. Like for example, let's uh, do a uh, four batch. Let's try it. And also, let's look at our GPU usage. Yeah, our GPU is almost at a full capacity, both the VRAM and the, the GPU core. That's a little bit of scary because the GPU has 12 gigabytes. So right now it's almost uh, like it. Yeah, so we, we do see that it's able to generate all four of them. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.